Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today number 29 of this current series on Southern California eateries. Heading up to Culver City to a place I've been wanting to check out for quite some time. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Just need to load up the few accessories and off I go. You're right, Big the Foot, that is a train next to us. I'm not gonna get in the carpool lane. I don't, I don't I think that's justified. Arrived at the corner of the 11,200 block of Washington Place and the 4,000 block of Globe Avenue. I had to park about a block away to find parking. It's 11.15. They opened at 11. And driving by, it is already very busy. I guess technically where it's located is straight ahead underneath, well, just past the underneath of the freeway. I'll give you those cross streets when I get there. Oh yeah, the crowd is definitely formulating. Tuller. Tuller Avenue. The freeway is right up there. It's a real beehive of activity. It just reopened at the first of the month, so it's been, been about a couple weeks. And I've seen some pictures that the line stretched underneath the freeway onto the opposite side, so considering myself pretty lucky getting here this early. I have procured a shaded spot under this tree. See they have the markings on the ground, the arrows. Just waiting my turn. As I stand here, reading this says they opened in 19... 59 and the precise address is 11222 Washington Place. The back door is open and there are some tables but no one is sitting at them. Not 100% sure at this rate if it's only takeout or dine in. You have to be very patient. The line's not moving too incredibly quick but I have a feeling it's going to be worth it. This is officially the longest line I have waited in, wait time-wise, in about three months. Kind of enjoying it. It's a, I almost forgot what it was like to wait in a long line. Getting close to the end, however. There's some tables in the front section also, and no one's sitting up. The setup looks as if it kind of parlays off into a few different sections up to a couple different windows. I'll know better when I get a little closer. Reading the signage there on the door frame, it says, do not enter Tito's Tacos unless your temperature has been taken. So to go inside, they have a little temperature check. But to get takeout, there isn't one. I believe I'm gonna go with a couple of bottle otters if they have them, and three of the $4 regular tacos with cheese. Wiping down the table, so I guess you can sit at those tables doing the cleaning methods. I don't see an outdoor menu. It's a good thing I checked before walking up there to speed things up a little bit. However, sitting right there, the, the queue would be really in close proximity to where, you're, to where you're snacking. I think I might find another spot. My next step will be to move from here over into that box right there. I've been given my number, I'm number 56. He's calling for 53 right now. It's only got three orders ahead of mine. Oh, there's a mural over there on the side of the wall. total came to 1390 decided on just two tacos with cheese instead of three and instead of the third taco I got a four ounce guacamole and a large orange drink just a standard orange soda all my items compacted here in this box and the logo on the cup 
I'm gonna walk down to a, a park right down there about two blocks or so and hope for a picnic table. Check out what they did with this public phone, former public phone. It's very creative. I really like this area. This is gonna work out well. Shaded, an assort four, a total of four trash cans, no, five trash cans, if you count that one over there, just for this one table. This is my spot. I have inserted the straw and let me assure you, I am, I am ready to wet my whistle. But first, let me present, this is what we're dealing with. Two tacos layered with cheese, salsa there, and tucked away under a mountain of chips that come complimentary with every meal is that their specialty guacamole right there. Oh yeah, this is a nice little assortment. Oh, those tacos look so good. Can't really see what all's going on down inside there because there's so much cheese and lettuce. Well, oh, pine cone just fell. The weather is so nice out here. The last few days prior to this one has been a little toasty. Well, toasty for Southern California when it comes to East Coast humidity. It's not too, not too intense, but for out here, it's been a little, a little bit on the, the oh, it kind of drinks a little bit of this. Oh yeah, good old orange soda. I was gonna go with the water. And really, the selling point was having their logo on the cup. Kind of a sucker for a logo or a mascot. Sometimes I will eat at a place just if they have a clever mascot or something pulling you in like a tractor beam from the road. And for the sake of a video, to showcase the place that I am supporting, frequenting, eating at, going to for, you know, for the content and for the episode. Hope I got a friend coming by. I got a friend coming by back there. Someone's dog out right here playing catch with their dog. I'm noticing the salsa is very, very liquidy, very a lot of sloshing going on. That almost looks like a slushy. Does it look like a slushy? Old school, like a Jeep. Okay, first thing I'm noticing is the shell is a little bit different. You know, if you've ever been to Jack in the Box, the way they, they deep fry and they kind of like, kind of smushes <laughs> the angle of the taco shell. That's kind of what this reminds me of as well. I'm going for it. I was going to say you can mention, I was going to mention, I could say, you can hear how crunchy that is. But I got distracted by the conversation by, these things are tasty. Oh my gosh, that's really good. That's different, but good. very unique. It's not a traditional style. Well, it's not a traditional, what I would consider traditional as far as like a homemade or something that you would get at a regular fast food taco place. Except for maybe Jack in the Box tacos, if you ever had those, which are very similar to the, kind of like a, they dip this in, they fry the shell to where it contorts and kind of careens itself against all the meats and cheeses and 
other items. That would be the closest thing that I could really compare it to. And the meat is really scrunched up down in there. Oh, I should have put, the, I should have gotten a little bit of this. Get some of this on there. Taste it with some of that. Mm-hmm. That is good. It's not a dipping sauce, but I'm using it as a dipping sauce. And why the heck not? I like these. They're, they're filling when you first perceive how much of a meal is given to you when you open the box. You think, based on the price, Far from inexpensive, not really steep when it comes to the total cost, somewhere right in the middle. But you would think for what you were paying and looking at it, it wouldn't be worth the deal. But already eating this one, I'm starting to like, I'm gonna say I'm getting full, but I'm starting to feel it. I figured out what it is that draws people there. It's the uniqueness. It's a little, it's the uniqueness of the flavoring. I'm having a, I'm having a premonition, future moment that I'm going to be craving these later as time goes on. It's just like, it's going to, it's going to get into my, my mind and my psyche. Glad I didn't get three now. See, looking at it, it doesn't really look huge. But there's a lot going on inside this thing. You know how they say a bagel? like small in stature but it's like half or a whole loaf of bread crammed into one it's kind of like what this is so much pressed down in there what I've been doing I've only been eating one meal a day the last few days I did get the orange drink the orange beverage but I try to eat around noon get up in the morning make the previous day's video upload it film till around 1, 2 o'clock, get back home. Side note, this series has been great for me because I'm used to being on the road, always, my mind is always spinning and thinking about where I'm going to go, traveling, staying in hotels or staying in different areas that wouldn't really say I am kind of at home. Well, I've been sleeping in my own bed and going out, filming, in the morning portions until the early afternoon, then editing in the evening, wake up the next day, upload the video, make it live, and then go out doing this series. And because there was not a whole heck of a lot open, now things are starting to open, which is good, but not everything is open. So I'm gonna continue this, no set amount of days, but I'm gonna continue this until I feel that it is right to just move on with the series. Where was I, 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 I lost track of, I lost track of my thought there. I lost, uh, my, my mind went out the window going off on a tangent. I'm gonna probably put an edit in here until I can remember what I was saying. What I've been doing last few days, I've really kind of stepped up this, this process, is I eat a heavy meal, if you want to call it two tacos and chips or the portions I've been having. I guess technically it is heavy because it's not health food. And then I will not eat the rest of the day. I only drink water the rest of the day, kind of flush everything, get the system going. And I might have a little snack in the evening, but most of the time I don't even eat in the evening. And I'm hoping that that helps. Make me feel a little bit better and keep this 
this train continuing. Also, I believe it was stated today, maybe yesterday, today, that gyms in Orange County and LA County are now open for business again, so that might be an idea too. There's also bike rides, I take bike rides around in the evening. So I'm trying, bear with me, I'm, I'm trying not to overeat. Except there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot going on in this. The biggest problem for me, especially with the theme parks closing and me not going out, you know, everyone doing the at-home thing, including me for a long time, you can see how my daily steps just really tapered off. I guess it's probably safe to say that most people were the same way, so got to get back that back up again. Completed the two tacos, now on to the chips. The cheese, also those little flakes of cheese that have fallen off. The cheese is really good, like really fresh, almost like grated on the spot. I'm, I don't know if it really is, but it tastes like it's like freshly grated. Hello. Great, grated A cheese. It's a bad joke. Mm. Okay. It's a little bit liquidier and runnier than other guacamole I've had in the past. Has their own little twist on it. I like it. Not really a whole lot of chunks of anything inside there. Sometimes you'll get it with onions, tomato chunks. This is just, just standard. That's a big piece. I wonder how a mixture would be. You know, obviously it's just me eating alone, so it doesn't really matter that I do this. <laughs> that was a coincidence. would definitely eat there again eat here again in this park there's some other places around this area that I would like to try at some point it's a it's a cool place Culver City when you go up and down these streets there's so much you know, old-school signage nostalgia around this area there's some other eating establishments that I want to work in over the future not immediate future but there are a few other ones just in this general vicinity that I would like to come back to. So we might even revisit this park. It is windy. My glasses were about to blow off the table. should have inquired about t-shirts. I saw some of the workers wearing this logo on the front of their shirt. I didn't step inside. I noticed no one was going inside. Everyone was doing takeout. I kind of peeked into the dining area. No one was in there. Doors were open. It is such a beautiful day. It makes sense just to be out and about and eat. I'm going to go back by there. I parked on the other side. So I'll swing back by. I get a couple more exterior shots. I'm not even going to finish it all. Left half the guacamole and half the salsa. And about three quarters of the chips. I am full. I'm going to take the drink with me though. As far as proximity goes, the park I was just at is directly behind me. You can see Tito's way over there. Some really good neon over there. Including a, a cinema sign. Wow, that's awesome. The line has not dissipated at all. In fact, now it's stretching out on the other side of the road. When I arrived at 11.15, it took me about till about noon, so 45 minutes or so to get up and place my order, then about another five to get my food. 
that's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further and ring that notification bell. Also, give it a big, this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let's me know. Yeah, I almost just tripped in the weeds. I almost just tripped in the foliage. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.